Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, let's talk about image icon. So we've done images, right? And now we want to know what can we do with these images. And what we can do is we can create icons out of them, custom icons. So we know how to do icons before, right? It's I, uh, icons dot something, and then you put the icon that you want to put inside of there, um, like title or access time or something like that. But what if we want to create our own custom icon into the system itself? Well, we can do something like that. It's nice and simple. I'm going to make this straightforward. The new container, the picture widget, and this is going to be the icon, the picture widget. Okay, I should have called it picture icon, but sorry. Um, okay, so it's very simple. It's going to be stateless, right? An icon doesn't really do much. We're going to say widget build. Oh, by the way, right inside of here, compared to the previous video, I removed the height and weight, uh, height and um uh, the width. The reason behind that is because I want to show the exact size of the icon on the screen just as it is. So I'll just put it in the container itself. And I'm going to return image icon. And this is where the documentation uh, messed me up here a little bit. There is no image property. There's just a straight um, argument right inside of here. New asset image and it's going to be assets firefox.png because it's right inside of here. Okay. That's what it looks like. And so there's no image colon, even though I th it looks like that from the documentation. But we're going to change the color. Usually the color is going to be black. I think that's the default. So it looks black. Um, we could keep it black. Um, the size, 100. We could change this to 10. It'll be 10 pixels, super, super tiny, right, to make it easier to read. I'm just going to say uh, 80. So the size is going to be a double. So it's going to be 80. It's um, uh, up and down. And, and so that's our icon, right? But there's a couple of problems here, right? It looks terrible. So if you're going to make an, if you're going to turn an image into an icon, I think you can only make one color. So we made it red, black. You can only make it one color. Um, I don't see how at this point in time, maybe we'll find out in the future, how you can make this multiple colors like that as an icon. If anybody knows how to do that, can you please leave a comment in the comment section? I, I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be pretty simple and straightforward, but I just couldn't, couldn't figure it out. So what we want to do, let, let's take a look at some other types of icons because this wouldn't make a very good icon. So I just searched the internet for free icons and I just came up with this one. So it's going to be a buy. And so notice it's just one color. So what do we have to do? We have to put it in the assets folder. Remember, we have to go down in the pubspec.yaml right there. And then we have to go assets slash buy icon.png, just like we did for Firefox. Now we can use it in our application. And so here, I'm just going to change this to by icon. And there we go. Okay, if we want to change the color to blue, we'll change that just like that. Okay, so that's it. Now, how do I know this is an icon? And I'm not scamming you and just saying, oh, it's an icon, but it really is just a picture. How do I know it's going to be going to act like an icon? Well, we can test it out, right? So here, instead of picture widget, I'll say um, icon button. So let's interact with it. Okay. And so the icon here will be picture widget, right? And on pressed, I'm going to say Again, let's just make it simple. Um, print by it now. All right, so we'll do that. So we'll, the parent widget is going to be the icon button, picture widget. It's going to be super small. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Uh, let's do the icon size. Uh, let's make it again 80.0. We'll make it a little bit bigger right there. Uh, reformat it. Okay, good. Icon button, icon size. Icon is going to be picture widget, right? Right here. So it's accepting it. So it looks like it is actually an icon. And then you're going to say on pressed, print by it now. Print pressed, buy it now. Okay. So now we can see that it truly is actually a, a 
icon which we actually created we didn't create it okay somebody else created it thank you whoever created that i appreciate that but at least now we know we imported it into our application and now we can use it as a custom icon if we want to in the future okay thanks